Welcome to the third tutorial for My Memory Suite digital scrapbooking software by Polaroid. I'm Leslie, also known as Tuke of the Pink Tuke Craft Blog, and in this third tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Quick Pages within My Memory Suite. If you missed my introductory tutorial that gives you a tour of My Memory Suite features and capabilities, or the second tutorial about adding additional content to My Memory Suite, be sure to check it out on my blog, craftblog.pinktuke.com. In the last tutorial, I showed you how to add additional content to the My Memory Suite program directories so that you could use them within the software. Today's tutorial is going to take that one step further and show you how you can use Quick Pages. They are added similarly to how we added additional content in the previous tutorial. Now, a Quick Page is when um, someone takes elements and papers from a digital kit and creates a layout with them in a program like Photoshop, which is what I'm using here, um, or Paint Shop Pro, and they leave a transparent space for you to insert your pictures into. So all you have to do is load up the quick page and insert your photo and voila, a finished page in seconds. These are very popular freebies on digital scrapping sites because they give you a preview of a kit or a taste of what you can do with a scrapping kit that the designer wants you to purchase. So because I'm adding content to my memory suite program directories, I'm gonna close out of the program. Remember that when you add new things, um, you're gonna have to exit out or restart the program uh, for those new things to show up. Okay, so here's a quick page that I've made just recently, um, and I'm going to show you how you can use it within the program. So take the quick page, and you're going to want to um, add it to the directories. Now, yesterday I showed you how to do that. You go to where you have My Memory Suite installed. For me, that's C, Program Files, My Memory Suite, and then we go into Components. And I'm going to add Quick Pages as an embellishment, and let me explain why. If you add Quick Pages as a background, I know that they seem like a background, they're the full size, but if you add it as a background, you're not able to put the photo behind the Quick Page. Um, so that space that's left open here uh, for your photo, you don't want that to be on top of the Quick Page. You want that to show up and you want it to be behind, on a layer behind it. So you want to add your Quick Pages as embellishments, not as backgrounds. Backgrounds in My Memory Suite are the, um, the furthest layer on the back, on the bottom, so you can't add anything behind a background. So we're going to add our Quick Page as an embellishment. So go into Embellishments, and in here you can see all the directories we've made before, some things that I've added myself. Yesterday we added things to the designer embellishments in the last tutorial. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. Right here in the main Embellishments directory, I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm just going to call it Quick Pages. Go into Quick Pages, take your Quick Page, and cut it and paste it in here. So now my Quick Page is here in an embellishment directory, um, in the Quick Pages directory of embellishments. Um, and yes, in the last tutorial, I mentioned that you should always back everything up. Anything that you add to my memory suite directories, you should back up just in case. Um, so. I've already done that with this, but you would want to make sure before you put your only copy into the program directories that you back it up somewhere. Save it somewhere else that you can uh, back it up for future use. So now that I've added my quick page into a new directory in the embellishment section, I'm going to go back into my memory suite and load it back up. I'll open up our tutorial album that we've been working on. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to add a new page. So I'm going to go to Insert, Add a Page. I can add um, a new page from the template that I chose, or I can just add a blank page, which is what I'm going to do. So add a new blank page, and it pops up down here, as you can see. Now, I'm going to go and add that quick page as an embellishment. So go to Embellishments, Add Embellishment. Now in here, you're in the main embellishment directory, so find the place where you created your Quick Pages, so called Quick Pages here, click on that, and it's going to bring up a preview of the Quick Pages that I've put in that directory. And here it is, thankful for you, which is one, the one that I created and put in there. I'm going to click Apply, and it's going to add that Quick Page just like an embellishment onto our blank page. And it takes up the whole page. Sometimes um, quick pages might be a little bit smaller, so you're just going to have to move them around and um, resize them to fit the page, to cover the page. There we go. 
And as you can see, here's my little white spot, uh, white spot here where I need to put in a photo. And because this is an embellishment, it's on its own layer, and so if I want to put things behind it, I can. So now I'm going to add a photo. Let me show you how to do that. So this is the space that I need to work with for my photos. Go to the photo pane and choose add photo box. The box is going to pop up and you're going to need to resize it. Now what I do is I usually make it kind of small and I'm going to grab it and I'm going to place it over the white opening, the white space here, just barely past it. So I'm, I'm just sort of aligning it over top. And then I'm going to drag the side over until I just barely go over the edge. Same here so that I make a square that's just just barely bigger than the white space. Now I'm going to leave it like that and you can double click to add a photo to the box. I also want to show you, I didn't show you in the first tutorial, but if you click over here where it says show photos, if you click this little button, it's going to pull out the directory that you're currently browsing as far as photos. So you can always take a photo here and drag it and drag it over into a space if you want. So I'm going to take this photo, I'm going to drag it over and you'll see the little box lights up and I'm going to put it here and drop it and it drops the photo into the space. Now what I need to do is I need to send this layer, so I'm going to close this and hide it. This layer that the photo is on is on top and I want it to be underneath the quick page layer so it looks like it's part of the quick page. So I'm going to right click on the photo and I'm going to say send to back and it's going to fit that photo perfectly behind my little frame so it looks like it fits in my frame just like it's supposed to and there you go. So once you've added your photo, you're free to add additional things such as text or embellishments. Um, you can add anything to this page just like you would any other page that you designed. Um, if I wanted to add a text, like maybe I wanted to add a date or a title or some other little snippet or a button or some sort of embellishment, I can do that on top of this page as well. That's how your um, quick pages are added. So that's it for today's tutorial. Remember that each new tutorial is going to build on the previous ones and assume that you know how to do or are familiar with certain features already explained in a former tutorial. So be sure that you watch them all. And I have at least two more tutorials on the way and of course I'm always available to help by answering any questions in case things aren't clear. My email is craftblog at pictook.com and I'm open to any suggestions for future tutorials if there's something you need more clarification on. So I'll see you at the Pink Toot Craft Blog craftblog.pinktook.com. That's it for today. See you in the next tutorial and take care.